You're listening to the Seen and Solve podcast brought to you by Hubbard Hall. As soon as I start aqueous cleaning these, I have two issues. Number one, I've got to have an aqueous chemistry that now I can get the surface tension low enough to get into these areas, but then I've got to get the chemistry out. And this is where rinsing becomes the most important part of the cleaning process. Because if I'm unable to rinse the cleaner out of all these blind areas, and then I'm unable to get the water that I use to rinse the parts out, I'm going to have problems with corrosion. I'm going to have problems with soil not being flushed out. And then over time, if I don't get the oils and things out of this, these small areas, I can get bleed out further down the process line. So in this example, these parts actually get plated. So they're going to go through a plating line. And if we're not able to rinse properly and flush all the stuff we cleaned out, that's going to bleed out into the other tanks. The Seen and South podcast is brought to you by Hubbard Hall. Better results, less chemistry.